Okay, everybody. I know it's been a long time. Um, you gotta forgive me. I'm filming this with my cell phone. I just want to give you a very quick of where I am right now. Um, last time you all seen this, it was just the frame itself. And now you can see what I've been working on. Yeah, sorry about the quality, but this is where we are. Still gotta trim all this up. And this is yet stable and sturdy. So what I had to do, what I've been doing, is making little um braces for the uh side skirts right here and to finish filling in with the rest of the sheathing. And one little adjustment I made was this bad boy right here. I decided to um go ahead on and get rid of the traditional uh, proportion system the, the way I had it and go ahead with a jet ski motor although I'm not using a jet ski motor I'm using a jet ski pump and if this six and a half horsepower motor I got don't give me the the, the speed I need or the, to or the torque what have you um then I'll uh, change that out but anyway this is the mid shaft right here and how I plan on doing so is um taking the chain that's coming from the engine wrap it around here which goes into the spline back here then in theory it's gonna spin this sucker and this is my steering system just like the last board i made you know kill well, on off kill switch what have you and the start right here with the wires already ready to go and I use two pillar block bearings for the steering you see that steering cable right here going back and forth which is moving this sucker which that's gonna be attached to this moving this um and all jet skis have a pump intake housing. I didn't, I couldn't find one for this particular uh, pump right here. This come off a of, uh, 95 widget. So I did was fiberglass my own. Yep. Although the outside isn't, you know, pretty. It's all, you know, but I'm not worried about this. I'm worried about this point right here. As you can see, I'm. It took a lot of time sanding, grinding, and getting out holes, pinholes, but we're coming along real good. So the mid shaft is going to be attached right here. The shaft coming out with the pump attached to this, bolted up, or what have you. And the intake, where the water is coming in from right here. But like I said, this is nothing, you know, real big. Just a little update, you know, to keep y'all hanging in there and to thank y'all for subscribing and follow me along this this journey so hopefully in the next two weeks i'll be done with all the sheathing and making that sturdy what have you and um yeah let's just keep our fingers crossed and hope that this bad boy works but once again if you have any questions or an ideas or um anything you know just let me know and she's coming along ladies and germs she's coming along so I'm trying to do, if I'm not too lazy, I'm trying to transfer this to the digital model so you all can see where we're at. All right, now this is what you all just got done looking at. And this is the updated version right here. So of course, you know, this is gonna be the bottom of the boat, the water coming in right here. And with the mid shaft, which is going to be connected to this little spline right here. Let's see if I could turn that uh, layer on for you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, just like that. And one thing that I did different with this build is every little piece I uh, I took my caliper and I went in this program right here and made that that. Uh, individual piece so example like this mid shaft I made that and of course you know you got your, uh, your pump as well so I basically uh, just done that you know to make everything a whole lot easier to make my uh, measurements a little more accurate but um that's about it for that and this is the part you know I just showed you as far as the uh, fiberglass and goes whatever and um those pieces to support the side skirts are going to go all right here and one more thing i had to add was let me show you um the 
this X brace in the middle and these two pieces right here along with this third uh, horizontal support right here but like I said you know she's coming along and um and uh hopefully you know sometime soon we'll be able to throw some fiberglass on this bad boy and if you have any questions you know or um, any suggestions or anything that you want to know in detail just let me know I'll be more than happy to answer your questions but once again y'all thanks for watching and Hopefully we'll be, you know, moving forward after I'm done with this phase. So, once again, thanks for watching. This is just a little taste of uh, what is to come. Let me know if you like that color scheme you got going on right here. All right, y'all, I'm going for real this time. Thanks for watching.